Telling me what Google's telling you. Hold on, you're telling I'm me. Telling you hold on, you're experience. telling me. You hold on a second. On you're show. telling me that if you were the executive producer, that's why they fucking fired the shit out of that guy. <laughs> And we're back. All right, so <laughs> sorry, I was trying to do my best Danny impression. <laughs> He's one of a kind. Right. I'm never gonna be on the show again. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, so today's on today's debate. We have six questions. We have the dark side. We have the light side. I will flip a coin. They will let us know who is going first. Each team has two timeouts. They have one minute to response. Um, and my judge or my point will be given to the person, to the team, with the best response, okay, to the question. It is heads, so dark side. We have to, the question is the overall acting of the show. We like to be polite on the dark side mm. and then slice your head off. Yeah, then you know. So please go first. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they don't know. Oh, it's fa family feud now? <laughs> well... So the first question, overall acting of the show. The overall acting of the show, I guess, first of all, you have one, probably one of the best actors in Star Wars history in Ewan McGregor, okay? So right off the top, you have a 10 out of 10 guy leading the show. Behind that, you brought back OG Hayden Christensen, okay? Who we've been waiting for, because you know he is a sub, subpar actor, but in the best scene of the entire show, he gave a 10 out of 10 performance, as long with James Earl Jones, and the mask being split in half, that was an incredible scene. That was the best scene of the entire show. And he was in it with Obi-Wan, the two best actors. Reva, who started off probably mediocre, came to be pretty decent towards the end of the show. And actually ended up being, I would say, solid 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 acting. That's 10 seconds. That's the 10, ten seconds. Second, that's a 10 second rule. What the fuck is that? 10 second rules? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You fucked me up. <laughs> All right. So overall acting, in my opinion, flat, boring, stupid as usual. Dumb. Okay. You had Reva, which he mentioned, that was supposedly a, a good actress. She's not a main character. She's never been a main actress in any other show or movie. And therefore, to me, she did not hold anything. Nothing. Uh, <clears throat> overall, again, she's never played in any lead performances. Never. Uh, the Jedi scenes, as a Jedi person, you're talking about, you know, you know, you have another actor, super flat, boring, which made no sense to even be there, was Ice Cube's son, okay? Which another thing that just, you know, the chemistry there was nowhere near. The chemistry on the acting had nothing. It was really bad, flat, and again, it was just, it, it, there was no chemistry between any character in general, okay? <clears throat> also, you put, you know, you put, what else have I got here? What else can I put here? It's really knocking here. And that's it. That's really all it really much is, you know. I will. All right, so he's gonna I'm, give the point. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rule this point in favor of the light side here. And that's, <laughs> they they had they had uh, they had more specific points based. <laughs> of course. Um, uh, you know, you talked about Riva upholding the screen. She wasn't the main actor. She was she was sub. You know, she was there but not there. You brought up the point of hating Christians and and. I like I liked your specific plot points better. So, I appreciate that. So I'm gonna Romance. point that to the to the light side there, okay? <laughs> Thanks, huh? The acting doesn't suck. The, the acting doesn't suck. And, it, and he's a ten out of ten actor. Name me one movie by Ewan McGregor. Go ahead. Star ten. Wars episode one. No 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 Jumper. He was probably he was probably sitting in a homeless shelter, and they were like, "Hello, okay, you Star Wars." <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm back. <laughs> You're arguing about the acting. The acting is not really the problem. The actor, I think, all the actors in the show were decent to good. Alex, you're gonna tell me that the actress Moses Ingram that she's never been in anything in a lead role capacity. It doesn't matter. It's a good actress. She was not a lead role. Now she was still an extra. Uh, Did you see uh, the interrogation scene in episode four, where she's like? You think that I was uh, gonna get you? And she closes the door. See, yeah. This is how you win the debate. Right so here. this is the point that I want to make. <laughs> and yeah, you and McGregor is good, but the rest of the actors are not good in the show. Reva is not good. She's not believable at all. I, I wasn't convinced for a second that she was evil. Even if that that plot twist came, that oh, I'm good. Oh, but yeah, that's why she was acting so bad. That's incorrect. She could have acted super, super bad, and you would have been like, wow, man, she's really bad. Oh my God, she's actually good, but not for a second because you don't believe she's bad for a second. I don't even think she's good. I just think she's flat, 
and boring and dumb the whole time. So. <laughs> Tails. So the question is, what would you rate, or what about the lightsaber duels in the show? Lightsaber duels Somebody in the one? show. I'll get, I'll get this one. <clears throat> uh, you, you can go first. So uh, to start off, uh, I felt like with the lightsaber, pretty much the fight scenes, they were more nostalgic than they were really good to me. Uh, I feel there was a lot of shaky camera, especially at the end when it was a fight scene of something that everybody's been waiting for since the beginning of the show. Um, I also feel like the logic with the lightsabers didn't make any sense to me because she's speaking um, to Obi-Wan through the, through the door and then she actually melts the door to open it. But then when she gets stabbed or when anybody gets hit with the lightsaber, they're pretty much good. Like everybody just walks away, like especially in these, in, in these critical moments, of things that could happen that affects the story in a very big way, they just seem to walk away from that moment. Like, nothing really happened that gave me that feel of like life or death. And when it did happen, it just was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna turn around and go this way. So, overall. You said your piece, now it's time for the light side. All right, you ready? Here we go. Look, I mean, I can agree with you that there is some moments where there's shaky camera, but honestly, like the lightsaber dueling, this is some of the best we've had since. I mean, since episode one, two, and three, because this duel alone with Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan in the end beats four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's pretty impressive on a TV show standard. So honestly, yeah, I, I have to say, did the Star Wars, did the, did the lightsaber duels hold up? Most definitely. Did, it, did they do well? Yes, they did. They did very well. And especially in the end. I, again, I can give you episode three is a little bit shaky, but when it came down to it in the end there, the dueling was incredible. It was emotional. I haven't heard anybody say that that scene is bad. Everyone liked it. And that's all, that's all I have to say. That's it. Real simple. I, I would probably give that to the dark side here. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm and, not even going to be biased. I think that's fair. He did a good job. He did a good job. He brought up valid points. He did a good job. He, 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 did a good job. he did a good job. you were a little bit more. He did a good job. Hey, it. I give you props. Oh, he did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> camera shaky one. Fuck, I noticed that too. <laughs> I don't know why the camera was shaking while was And by the way, Danny, there was emotion. Hey, there's, 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 there's emotional scene. There's an emotional there's scene. There's been some surprise. No, you know what's like, emotional scene? You know what's an emotional scene? Okay. Hopper's letter at the end of Stranger Things season three. That's emotional. Okay, but 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 this is an Obi Wan. But this is we're talking about Obi Wan Kenobi. Everyone cried in that shit. That's emotional. Danny, Danny, re re that show remind ending? me, remind me, what, what what is this episode about? Stranger Things. The ending of season three? <laughs> no. no, it's about Obi Wan. So anything that you say about Stranger Things is completely relevant. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm just using an example. I agree with you. I agree with you, but it's example. completely relevant. I actually, if you think about it, and not only from a Star Wars fan, I think that the the the, the especially the lightsaber duels were extremely emotional because you saw the progression. You guys like to give synapses, like, oh, and then episode one, I'm asking you, were you emotional at the end of this? Of when, of I was, I was extremely you, emotional. You were emotional. When you wow. see, I this think is, you're lying, so it's okay. When, when, you, when this guy cut so. the, the helmet off, and you see the, you know, Anakin Skywalker, and, and the, the, the changes of the voice, and you see the anger, you can actually, I felt the emotion, and especially, from a character perspective, Obi Wan felt responsible for what happened. Yeah, we we got a couple uh, underrated superstars here, Matt, <laughs> Derek. I mean, these guys, you know, they're they're coming out strong. All right, here go we go. Ahead, go ahead. <laughs> they're undrafted. All right, here we go. The next question is, um, how would you rate the sets, costumes, and overall visuals of the show? This is. You want me to flip it again? Oh, it's tails. Don't talk to me about the story. We're talking about the sets, mm -hmm. the CGI, and the costumes. Don't yeah. tell me because the guy had a you know back and he talked about wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, Danny. Save, save, save it. Save it. We got you. No, no. When I started talking, about it. I didn't even know who's going first. Who's going first? Yeah, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna, go gonna first. You decided yeah. to go first. Okay, all right. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, you guys to like chill and talk and think about it? Okay, I hope I get this. <laughs> I, to I told you guys can hold up before the minute okay. starts. Once he starts right. talking. Yeah, my friends are not huddling, though. <laughs> They're just looking at me like, good luck. <laughs> like you guys, Danny. There's a lot of beef over here. Okay, so. okay, so I actually think that they did an amazing job in all the uh, effects, uh, 
costumes and, and all that. They kept it true to the Star Wars, um, you know, saga and, and, and all the environments. Um, there were a lot of things. They, they, I mean, what I like about the best about this is the attention to detail from the little thing that you may not even realize. Um, one of the big things, and, and probably what people remember the most, you know, the special effects of like Darth Vader episode five, you know, he's holding the ship, he breaks, he tears it all up. Um, that's definitely, you know, a, a, an amazing special effect. The uh, smaller details that people don't even realize when Obi-Wan uh, cuts the helmet off, uh, you see like, you know, a scar on Anakin's uh, or Darth Vader's uh, head. That that's actually something that you see on Episode Six of uh, the Star Wars. The, the... Oh, it's time for me. Oh, okay. at least I got part of my time for me. Okay, so the show's CGI obviously was terrible. When they did the every time they would transition from one place to another, you could definitely see. I think everybody would agree. The difference between the CGI in the back, especially in the desert scene, you can see the CGI in the back and him walking up the desert in the studio in London is where they filmed it. Also, the costumes were very flat. They were safe. I thought Reva's costume was very safe for obvious reasons. Um, so very, very safe. Also, I want to point this out. There's a guy named Doug Chiang, and I want to say their names right, Todd Trusinski. Those guys are the executive producers and the head of Lucas Films. And they said, and I quote, the hardest part of dealing with the new show was trying to get balance between what George Lucas would have wanted, which, by the way, he left the show. He didn't want to promote it because he did not like the show. He didn't say that, but obviously he didn't want to be part of the promotional tour and all that. And he left. He actually left the show. Also, they said that if the balancing Deborah Chelsea. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he destroyed fucking Alex. <laughs> I disagree. Just because I Google some Listen, names, Alex. <laughs> 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 you Google a few names, but, and now but, you're gonna win for that. But, but no, but, so. but wait, 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 wait. But wait, those are the guys that make the decisions for George Lucas since the beginning of the Star Wars. They work with George Lucas. They said the hardest part was balancing Deborah's vision and our vision. Do you know that? All right. So uh, I'm gonna give this point to the dark side. Um, ah, just uh, I, I, it, it's all right. So. Um, he, he used more points. Like he, he uh, it, 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 there is, there is conservatives, uh, you know, and the set and the costumes choosing. I, I did agree with you on that. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't match either episode three or episode four too much. It was kind of just like in its own, and it just didn't make sense, you know. Felt safe, felt like a safe. And picks. I think, I think one of the point that you could have, uh, that you could have pointed out was the the gun holster that he gave Leia at the end. That's the gun holster that she uses in the beginning of Episode Four. So those certain things might have, might have attributed. I used the argument. scar. Uh, the scar, the scar I was the good. Scar. The scar, which was is the good. end of the freaking yeah, yeah. series. I like, I like when he goes because you googled a couple names. <laughs> yeah, he did Google some names. I'm not familiar with those names, but uh, yeah. Plus, another thing to consider, which I, I, re I respectfully disagree with the decision, but sure. I honor it. Um, I don't have a notepad in front of me with all the no, yeah, names I that I googled and I, and I put it in I front agree. of me. <laughs> so the next question is. How about the character writing? Okay, so we're not basing it on the on the specific story or anything, but just the actual characters writing their depth in their own. Now, so let's see who goes first. Oh, yeah. Heads the dark side. Matt, go ahead. All right, here we go. All right, so the character writing. I thought the character writing um, was fantastic, especially for one character in particular. Again, Obi Wan. I think again the main focus of the show, the name of the show, from the beginning when he felt didn't want to help Leia. Didn't want to get involved in anything. Involving himself, finding the Force, eventually seeing Qui-Gon, which, which I talked about in the previous episode. And then let's talk about that scene right before in the biggest scene of all in episode six when he goes to battle with Darth Vader. He says before he gets off the ship, I'm either killing him or he's killing me. When he's battling him, eventually you get to a point where he could kill him. He has the rocks all behind him. He's about to kill, he could kill him. He slices his mask in half. He sees Anakin, his Padawan. He no longer wants to kill him because he sees what he has done to him. He sees, going back to the emotion, 
he is now affected. He, if that mask stays on, I think he tries to kill him. Obviously, it wouldn't have been canon. But he doesn't kill him because he sees what he's done, what he's created in his mind. Darth Vader thinks he killed himself. Thank you for that uh, reminder of the ending. Um, no, no, we're you're... talking about the writing here in this debate. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> here we go. Um, Let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. So, Deborah Chow, quickly, I only have one minute. I apologize. She cited three films because directors do this. They use other films as inspiration for the movie or for the show. She used The Joker 2019. She used Logan uh, with Hugh Jackman. And she used The Assassination of uh, Jesse James by the Coward Robert, Robert Ford. I've seen all three of the movies. None, none of them are in this show. <laughs> Zero for her writing. Also, the guy who wrote the show, his name is Joby Harold. Um, if you go on his IMDb, he has no, no writing credits. So he's literally a rookie writer on a major show. Besides that, the lines, you know, to me, the, the movie, I mean, the show is written like for a child, in my opinion. Um, because you know Disney, they want to get all ages in there. Okay? The specific line that I couldn't stand was in episode six when Vader is fighting him. And this is the, like you said, the big moment. And this is the writing that they came up with. Ready? This is why you will lose. Rock throw. <laughs> This is tough. This is this is that was that this is tough. I mean, I think it's closer than what both of you guys are thinking. I think this team thinks that they got the point. This team uh-huh. feels yeah, like they got the point. It, it, really but, but but really, it's 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 tough. Uh, I'm replaying the answers back in my head right now. Uh, wow. Damn. Uh, I'm, <laughs> well, I like I like your response. <laughs> and I like your response as well, but you did, you did, you did focus on just one character when he, when he focused on the overall of the show, but not but no again. one's character arc, nothing. We're talking about writing coming from uh, Logan and from which other one, the Joker, Jack, both completely different movies. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I might have to side with the light side on this one. Yeah, I had to give the point to the light side. On this. Easy I mean, that, very you, about Star Wars. you. You didn't really talk the about the guy who wrote the show has no writing credits. But that, I don't but care. That has, that has nothing to do with the writing what of the show. What do you mean has nothing show? to do? He's not writing a show for fucking uh, nobody. The it's uh, the things, biggest the show only, in the world. You're, you're giving me. You're telling me what Google's telling you. Hold on. You're telling I'm me. Telling you hold on. What works. You're telling me. <laughs> hold on a second. On you're show. telling me that if you were the executive producer, that's why they fucking fired the shit out of that guy. <laughs> oh they probably went in there and said, "You hired a guy that has no credits. <laughs> you're fired. You're fucking fired." <laughs> They call them up and say, "You're fucking fired. You're fired. You're fired. Like, don't talk to fired." The hard part is, is that the hard part is that I agree with you. That but writing the, but the, is, is like a little kid writing. But, the, but, the, but I know. But the you, point. This the, is the why point, you will lose. This, this, you. Hey, listen. It's a hundred and fifty million dollar show, and imagine the executive producer going like, "This is why you will lose." Rock throw. I also, I also only have one minute. Right, but we you're, also only you're have a one minute. assistant I principal. That, I you know that. You know that writing sucked, bro. Come on. Do you think if do you think if I'm gonna start talking about Riva and Leia and all that I'm gonna think I'm gonna give you points if I start talking about Riva and Leia. I'm focusing on the best part of the yeah, show. Don't cut that's this my, part that's out. my job. Hey, listen, this is 150 million dollars. <laughs> the board members are looking at it's not five million bucks. This is 150. And they're looking at this is why you will lose. And we hired a guy that no has no has no resume. Can you can you imagine? Of course they're gonna fire the fucking head of television. I'll fire all the head of television and the whole fucking department. <laughs> Uh, all right. Question number five. How was the show's overall as a s- standalone Star Wars show? Okay, how was the show overall as a standalone Star Wars show? Ready? Here we go. I'm going to flip the coin. Tails. Light side. Light side. Do you want to go first or you want to go second? Okay. Let, let the dark side so, dark side is Let going the dark first. side burn. Uh, Again. <laughs> I'm going to repeat the question. I'm going to repeat the question. How was the show overall? Can you get the big ass knee off of me? How was the show overall? Big ass knee. As a standalone Star Wars show. That's not In comparison to three or four, how was it compared on its own from episode one to episode six as Obi Wan Kenobi? All right, I got this one. <clears throat> Rip it. I don't Let's see. If you see me stuttering, call a big ass timeout. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, obviously, as an overall standing alone Star Wars, not good. Okay, the scenes were flat, as I said before. <clears throat> also, you, they, they couldn't find a Jedi that's known throughout the whole entire galaxy, and then he's just roaming around there doing absolutely nothing, doing what he desires, and the dark side, the Empire, can't find this man. Okay, I think that was very stupid from going from cutting meat, okay, from then after that, being stronger Jedi, and over three days max, over the most, most powerful person in the galaxy, three days max, over, you know, overpowered Dark Vader in three days, and then go, and then after that, just let him survive, and then after that, he just went go, go, cut back meat, made no sense, I don't think as a Star Wars episode show, whatever you want to call 17 seconds. I'll give you one more second, because. <laughs> as well as a uh, little girl running around as Usain Bolt made no absolute sense as a Star Wars Jedi as well but very stupid dumb flat as well and then you have characters in there that were just overall bad Rava Ice Cube's son it just made no sense overall <clears throat> standalone horrible show and I would never like to see another one what was the question again? <clears throat> overall how was the show overall as a standalone Star Wars, not compared to Episode 3 or Episode 4, as it's Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 1 to Episode 6? Let me know when you're ready. I think that in the storyline of uh, Lucasfilms, I think it, it, it answers a lot of good questions that a lot of fans wanted to know. This is arguably the story of the best Jedi in the Lucasfilms, um, you know, saga. And it just brings the gap of what happened during those, you know, 18 years. You know, at least we found a little bit of, of that information. Um, but it just answers so many questions. I think it fits very good to a lot of fan uh, things that they wanted. Like, for example, bring back Qui-Gon. You know, uh, what really happened between Darth Vader and Anakin during the, the time that when the first movie came out. They just met, this guy swiped him, killed him, and nobody really knows what happened. Um, you know, so I, I really think that it just fits very good. It does a, a very good job at bringing the whole story or, or what's in the gap, basically closing uh -huh. the gap. Two seconds. It's a great show. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a pretty good ending there. I, I, I remember everything. And uh, I'm going to have to give this to the dark side. <laughs> I mean, I, just, just um, you, made, you made valid points. You spoke on from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. You kind of included the, the, out, the, the other movies. Um, I, I kind of disagree with you as far as, um, as far as, you know, them filling in plot holes. I think they created more. So <laughs> that's, just, that's just my opinion. But based on your overall debate, I, I, would, I would say that. I would I would say that they they you brought up more. Good judge. <laughs> he is he is he is he is. <laughs> All right, so so right now it's three two. All right, so we're doing question number six. It's three two in favor of the dark side right now. Um, the last question: Would you? As controversial as it is, the show has made good numbers. So would you like to see? A second season of Obi Wan, or quit while they're ahead. So, we're gonna flip a coin here. It is tails. Light side you chooses first. again. All right. Um, Derek is up. Derek is up. Uh, honestly, I I don't want to see another season of the show. Um, I feel like this show is pretty dangerous to the plot of the whole entire Star Wars. I don't know why they want to continue to go with that. Um, honestly, it feels as if Disney just went out there, did whatever they wanted, and didn't try to do any continuity. Like, one, why is... So, pretty much, Obi-Wan, uh, he's no, with no. Luke... Uh, like, uh, 35 seconds left. 35 seconds left. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to say is uh, pretty much Obi-Wan Kenobi, he had very big moments with Leia and Luke. But yet, in episode four... It, they literally have never seen him before. But yet he saved their life multiple times. Um, 
if to me, I just feel like the direction of the show is not going in a very good direction. As you can see, what they're doing outside of the show and firing people, it's just it's not good. We don't want to continue <laughs> with this. Let's just quit while you're ahead. It's just it's too much. It's it's just too much. I'm done. I'm not. I'm, I'm just telling the judge that make sure he understands that if some things what they're said, if they are factual into the argument or not. I understand. You know. I, I, I understand. Okay, so uh, honestly, I would definitely love to see more Obi Wan Kenobi. There's a lot of stories still to be told, as you've seen in Rebels. There's still a lot of villains out there, and a lot of Jedi's loose. That's what they showed in the beginning of the episode. People did get away, so there's a lot more story to tell. You don't even have to follow Leia or Luke or do any of that. You can simply just go on what's what's still out there. You still have Darth Maul out there as well, which is a big part of Rebels. You still have a, a lot of. Uh, I mean, they didn't even finish it up. You still have all the uh, Inquisitors still there as well. You have way more story to go on with this show. Time out. Which thing? Judge Wesley is there. So they can tell the Obi Wan story. Is this thing on? Because it's still eight years. It's still eight years left. Twenty nine seconds. Twenty nine seconds left. Okay. So and also, um, also the. Uh, what he just said about the Leia, as far as not knowing who Obi Wan is, there is a scene in Episode Four where she does know who Ben is, which is kind of works with the storyline here as well. And also, the Jedi Fallen Order does have a lot of Inquisitors, and this could show how it ties into another episode, another season could show how it ties into the video games that have been out there and all the canon and all the books that are written. So I would definitely love to see more Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi. No doubt about it. It's ended really good. The number one rated watch show on that's Disney+. It, Plus. That, that, that's, uh, that's tough. This is harder than I thought, honestly. Uh, Derek, Derek uh, really surprised me with his points there. Um, but Tony did have some good points as valid as well as why they should continue the story. Uh, you, you, were, you did go off a little up stuff, up, off uh, the debate question a little bit, but I'm going to... I think this is a tie. That's that's three. That's three three right now. That's for the light side right there. That was that you had some good points in storytelling. Uh, I mean, of why they should continue. Of why they should continue. I think you made some valid points of you know that, that they could continue. They have a lot of potential stories. A lot continue. of stories, dude. Um, a lot of stories out there. They didn't do a good job <laughs> in this fucking show. They didn't do a good job to me, in my opinion. In give, this give us show, your review. Give us your review. All right. So my honest review of this show. I know you guys like to do ratings. I like to do decimal ratings. I will give it a five point one. A 5.1, and that's really generous just because I'm a Star Wars fan. Um, to be honest, what you said about Leia is completely inaccurate. When they meet in A New Hope, her words to Obi-Wan Kenobi is, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. You help fight with my father during the, during the Clone Wars. Nothing about you rescued me when I was 10 years old and we had an awesome moment together. I have, I have a comment. They, I have a comment about were, that. About were, that thought. I have a comment about that thought. Uh, oh, 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 Leia. Okay. So I, we'll, we'll touch on that right now. But, but to, to be sincere, uh, they added more plot holes and they really just made up things from thin air. You had so much story in non-canonical and canonical and, and canon uh, stories, books, and everything to pull from, and you didn't. And you didn't. You, 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 you just made shit up for fucking money. And you, you went through the trouble of getting the actual Obi-Wan Kenobi character, the actual Darth Vader character, and you fucking stunk it up. You have two good moments in this fucking show. Two. So I mean, I mean, honestly, the, the acting was horrible. So the, the, inquisitor, the inquisitor, the inquisitor, the because it was based on the debate on your questions and the response. So that's 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 why it's tied right now. Honestly, that's that's the only point. So these are these right. are my and I've that's been trying I wanted to, you be, to give your real opinion on the show. That I, I'm trying to be impartial as as as, as fuck, you know, because I mean, it's really hard to defend some of the fucking shit you're saying. But God damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's getting cut. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't see that. You ain't gonna see that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't wanna see it. He's so stupid. He's gonna oh, look. Honestly, that shit. honestly, <laughs> Alfilo, I mean, I I mean, honestly, the reason why they made this show is because we asked for it. 
Who asked for it? Not you. Yeah. Who asked for it? Did. So, I wanted I didn't ask for it. So that's Darth the Vader. part. That's the part. I want to see some inquisitors that's the Pam and around That's there. the part that I sucks Darth Vader. the most. The part that sucks the most is that Obi-Wan Kenobi show never had to be made. They wanted it to be made. Listen, according to but my notes it. in Google, <laughs> <laughs> under, under Bob Iger, again, we win. They wanted to make it a single movie. And then the new guy came in, fucking ham and egg in it. He wanted to pump his stock up. Mr. JPEG said, nah, fuck it. I want to make it a stupid ass show. It's a, it would have been better as a movie. I think what that Not was. Not even. No. It would have been two. It, it, you have to do the movie in what, two and a half hours? Who's Reva? Who came up with Reva? I want, I want to meet that person. <laughs> Listen. Listen, Bob Iger, when Disney stock was up and not down like it is now by half in the last six months, they wanted to make it. They, they originally pitched it. I could have it in the notes as a movie, as right. a one movie, and maybe a three-part movie, and it would have been much, much, a trilogy, much better. But again, they came in. They fired the guy that was, you know, I don't that's, that's his favorite line. I think that's highlighted they fired, in, in they, Google search. They, they fired the they guy. Fired the guy. <laughs> they fired the guy, right? And then, and then the best part is when they're marketing the show, they're going, "Yeah, we use John Williams. John Williams, every movie you ever liked, you've heard his music, right?" They say, "Oh, we use John Williams." John Williams like did like half of a score. That's why the even the music in the show sucks. Where's the music? Where's the bam bam? And they come with the lightsaber and they're fighting. So they hire an, they hired another musical artist, right? That unfortunately she's not John Williams. That's like comparing me to Michael Jordan, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and that's why to me the show the show just lacks talent. That's it. Really, it shows that you see it. Joe From all the shows that they've done, they've wanted they don't want to associate. They're not, that's why they're not doing a scroll at the beginning of every show is because they don't want to do it. They don't want it to be. The fucking movie. They want to separate it from it's from its own thing. It's now, why are they? It's, it's separate. I, I agree with you. I but why are they doing you. a show? Because guess what? They gotta put a here, fucking here, show out. But because here, but Netflix is killing it, Hulu's killing it, Amazon Prime is killing it. Okay, look. So first, what, I'm gonna first, come up with a first, fucking movie. First off, Netflix in the middle of COVID. Netflix is Netflix <laughs> is not doing. And Netflix is number one. I'm going to four fucking years to get into the theaters. Yeah. I saw a trailer in 2018. All right. <laughs> <laughs> look, We're fucking, ne Netflix is not. <laughs> Netflix is not killing it. You know that by the way. Well, news. no, they're in fucking debt by a billion they, dollars. Uh, I know that. But, okay. 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 Killing in the sense of content. They're the, killing themselves. But. But. In the, okay. The shows that they're, they're putting still, out. The show, Stranger Things destroys Obi Wan. Uh, I, I the agree boys, with you. Amazon destroys okay, Obi Wan. So, Yellowstone from Paramount Plus oh, destroys Obi Wan. What about the Squid Game? The oh Squid my Game. God, it, Squid Game. Yeah. Every streaming service is the most watched. Do you know what? It, do you know what counts as a watch on Netflix and on Disney Plus and all that? Two seconds. I will say this though. Leave this. The show has the show has problems for sure. It does have problems. Even I like know it has problems. But I will say the show. I mean, I still loved it overall. I, I honestly, Alfred, as a Star Wars fan, I, I still loved it overall. I still had a great time. So touching great time. Just to touch on. You're not getting out of here. You had a great time. Just to touch on. Just to touch on Matt's point. If they didn't want, that's why they didn't have the scroll and the saga. If they didn't want it to, be, if they wanted to separate it so far from the original tri trilogy and the uh, episodes one, two, and three, then they should have not included Luke and Leia so much. And they should have not included Darth Vader. There's plenty of, dude, we have a whole entire galaxy. This is why Mandalorian was successful. Mandalorian was successful because they touched on characters they that- They Luke Skywalker. No, no, hold on. Mandalorian was successful because they touched on characters they that you did, characters that you did not know. You can make up whatever story you want about the Mandalorian. You can make up any story you want about Grogu and anyone else because it's a whole. That's why Rogue One was successful. But, you but had I, characters you, you didn't know, and you could. It's not like okay, who's directing? All right, this is the director. This is Vader's power. All right, this is the director. This is Vader's power. Every time you see Vader, it's a new power. It's a he can pull ships now. Oh, oh, oh shit! I mean, fuck! What listen, was that listen. in episode four when the Millennium Falcon is flying away? He could have just got. It was got, also oh, 1977. I got. It. I got it. Yeah, yeah, but, but listen, it has no point. Listen, listen, I'm listen. talking about the storyline. Listen, years ago. the part, the, the part that ability. I don't understand. The character's ability the, should not change. The part that I don't understand. The, the part the I don't understand is, she says she wants to make it a character study, like the Joker. She says that all these movies, right? Super gritty and all this. It's but there's so much other about the Leia. She's ten years, five years old. There's the, the Reva. There's just if you would have just made the show about Obi Wan, that's it. And listen, why at the end do they? They should have switched it. It should have been first him seeing Luke or whatever, then the big fight. I, I prefer it that way. But oh, okay, honest opinions on the last episode. First of all, 
they didn't need to do their whole Reva scene going back, going to Tatooine doesn't make any sense because I don't know how she got there. First of all, she got there miraculously when she got stabbed in the fucking chest. Um, Reva is a, a legit character called the Third Sister. So she is part of the Inquisitors. Third Sister is a real thing. Third Sister is not a fucking fake thing. But I do agree with you that going forward, I have said this to Tony before, I think they need to, get, and this is why I think I like that Taika Waititi is on the next movie. I want them to get away from all of this. All the yeah. Skywalker saga. Get away from everything because because at this point we've seen it. We've seen the regurgitated bullshit in seven, eight, nine. We've seen the regurgitated bullshit in some of the shows. Look, here, here we go. So out of the out of the third out of the three movies that came out recently, seven, eight, and nine. Uh -huh. Eight is the only one that tried to do that to get away from the main characters. But they didn't and, even do and, that right. And Star Wars fans hated it. No, no, no. But, they, but they because it's it. A, because it was an abomination from the top, and they still have that abomination at the top because yep. they said, okay, we're gonna go yep. with. Um, who they go with the first director? J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Okay, we're going to fire him. We're going to put the guy that fucking hates J.J. No, Abrams. It wasn't Ryan a, fucking Johnson. It wasn't even a fire. The movie did not even come out yet. But, they already had a Ryan Johnson Ryan book for the second. He fucking movie. hates J.J. Abrams. So he's like, I want to do something so fucking different. I'm going to make fuck you up. Yeah, and then guess what? All the fuck Let's go bring back J.J. Abrams. Oh, okay, you want to fuck me up? I'm, it was a fucking pissing contest. It was. All three movies. It was. It was. It was a pissing yeah. contest. It was. That's what it was. Get away from the whole fucking Skywalker saga. Start something. That's why Mandalorian was so successful. And I agree with you. Yep. And I agree with you. Characters that Rogue we don't one. fucking know about. Rogue That's One was I'm amazing. More excited. That's why I'm more excited about Ahsoka. <clears throat> I'm more excited about Ahsoka than I am. That was really probably about Obi Wan because I haven't seen Ahsoka in a live act. But think about how they fucked up Boba Fett. They fucked up Boba Fett. As I soon didn't as watch Boba Fett. They fucked it up as soon as they brought in Mandalorian because Mandalorian overshadowed the whole fucking show. Hey, but who's Boba Fett though? That guy. No, he doesn't know. <laughs> Oh, who's this, is, who's this is Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett's right here. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that's Bubba Fett. That's a cool character. Yeah. You see, but, the thing is, is that this is a cool character. And again, they ruined it by him having his fucking helmet off 90% of the show that he was in. All Doesn't right. make any sense. All right, guys. So final thoughts and we'll wrap it up. They did justice to the fans. No, yeah. They did a lot of fans service. But what right. about us? Absolutely. What about the casual fan? Is you guys are the ones talking shit Obviously, about Obviously, they do not care about the casual fan at all. We don't give a fuck. You better be a fuck. But you know, and get, by the way, by the That's way, true. this is the problem. This is the problem. And this is both a problem of mine and a problem of fucking Disney and, and the fans. You got to care, though. No, no. Of course you do. But here's the problem. The fucking hardcore fans that have been watching since 1977, like Alfie, they don't, you, fuck the casual. S serve me. Serve me. They don't want you to serve the casual. They don't want you to give a backstory on anything. Why you fucking pull every on, Disney fucking... Plus fucking every Disney project does this though. It's yeah. the and that is the issue why it's a lot of people don't have problems with the movies. So okay, so if they wanna they want and we'll wrap it up. If they wanna please the fan, why would they include so much story about Reva and Leia? Because you're interested in Reva? No, you, because you turned you've on seen, that show and said because Reva no, is a lead. You're character. absolutely right. You turned Reva, on that show Reva, and you went. Reva, yes, they, Reva's, Reva's here. too much on the, Reva's too much on the screen. She's too much on the screen. Right, I agree with, with, agree with you. I agree with you. The reason they I gave, don't even know who the hell Inquisitor is. This is this is why they, <laughs> this is why they give you Leia. By the way, something that you guys talked about earlier, it it didn't make sense. I don't know if it was Derek who brought up the point about they. Oh no, it was you. I think when, when like the best Jedi or the most known Jedi in the world, he's just flying around everywhere, different different planets, and it's just like okay, you kidnapped Leia. Obi-Wan went for Leia, so obviously Leia's parents know where the fuck Obi-Wan is, or can at least communicate with him. <laughs> what? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Star Wars debate, The Dark Side won. Huh? All right, whatever, go ahead. He said we won.